All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do here is we are going to go through and make sure that we've saved all of our effect stacks out because we can use these effects in other, uh, in, in other projects or we can use them in other cameras. So we're gonna save all of our effect stacks out, double check all of our cameras, set up a, another view real quick, and then we're gonna render these out and see what we get. All right, so let's get to it. Um, last part of this is uh, going to uh, each one of these, we've got summer, and then we've got our fall. And let me see, I'm gonna do file and choose save effects. And we did not save our fall. So I'm gonna call this one Brightman Designs underscore crisp fall. And then we'll go to this one and I'll go to file and choose save effects. And I'm gonna call this one, um, ooh, let's see, file save effects and we're going to call this one bd underscore dreary winter and then we're going to call this one a wet spring so file and save effects and call this one bd underscore wet spring like that okay so we've got all of our effects out I think these images are looking really cool. I mean, what a variety that you can achieve here. I mean, Lumion is super flexible for creating any mood, any vision, whatever it is you're going for. It's so quick and so easy to create and paint that picture. So if I wanted to make another view, I could just hop over here to a new camera and maybe I'll take a quick snapshot of, um, you know, I'm just gonna zoom like closer. This is gonna be a little bit tricky, but you know, if I like get a close up like this and set our eye height uh, like that. So that could be kind of cool. Something like there. All right, so I'll take a snapshot and then all I need to do is go to file and choose load effects. And I'm gonna load up our hazy summer like that. I'll go here, snapshot my view, file load effects, and we're gonna go with crisp fall. And then I'll go here and uh, snapshot my view and then file load effects. And we're gonna go with our dreary winter. And last is going to be snapshot our view and file load effects. And that'll be our wet spring like that. So you can see how quick and easy it is to just use these effect stacks over and over and get all these different looks going. Uh, once you set it up, it's yours. And of course, you know we are sharing all of these effects. I've shared uh, all the secrets. I'm moving fast today, but everything is perfectly clearly laid out in our tutorial. So um, let's do this. Let's go over here to our render photos page. And you can either render the current shot or you can render the entire set. I'm just gonna do 1920 by 1080. That's usually how I do my test renders. And then I would do a 3840 or 4K for print. All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna send these to my webinar and say 1905.29 underscore enter. Now, what this is gonna do is it's gonna move through this entire, you know, every single scene that I've set up, it's gonna render this out and, um, and just move through it. So. Let's just do that, and I think uh, I'm gonna say some closing words while we render out, and maybe uh, if I can fill the, <laughs> fill the time, uh, we'll, we'll just take a lap through all of these renders and see what we got, so.